शांति ओम शांति गुड मॉर्निंग बाबा अमृतवेले एट अमृतवेला बाबा हमको ऐसे देखता है लुक्स एट अस इन सच अ वे बच्चे कितने मीठे हैं seeing how sweet the children are and how nice they are how beloved they are because they're sitting in the remembrance of the father and charging their battery for the whole day so baba sees this In the early morning Baba sees how we children are remembering him. And our job is to be present and uh, there available for Baba's remembrance and sit in his remembrance. Then at the time of study Baba sees what Baba explains every day. Baba, uh, the father is speaking, teaching to the souls, his spiritual children. The supreme soul has simply taken this body on loan to teach his children, and Baba reminds us. When you come to class, then let it be there inside that I am a student. Uh, you need uh, uh, this for the whole day because no matter whatever the work is, you're still a student and you can't operate without doing your homework. And you pay close attention to your homework. Whilst you're moving around, eating and drinking, still at the same time you're doing a lot of homework. Why? Because you want to pass the exams with honor. Whenever it is the time of study, whether it's 10, 12, or 15 years, for all of us, as long as we're alive, we continue to study. Even if we don't do anything else, as long as the soul is in the body, continue to study. I hope you're not tired of the study. You don't get tired after studying and studying, because if you do get tired, then you can't study very well. And if you study well, then it removes your tiredness. The study is so that you can be free from the slavery of Maya, who made you dependent and tired. Once you become Baba's, then all tiredness disappears. You have received love. You've received the study so that your future becomes so elevated. The effort that you're making now, actually you don't have, you will not have to make any effort for money or a home or any other reason. Everything will come to you by itself. All you have to do is study well at this time. And when you have this intoxication and faith, both faith and intoxication, you have faith in your intellect, and intoxication is by bringing everything of the inculcation into practice. You have faith that this is the confluence age. And the Golden Age is about to arrive, and the Iron Age is about to go. Its destruction preparations are ready. You know this in your intellect. 
the intellect has understood the contrast between bhakti and gyan, and so everything is very clear. The contrast of bhakti and gyan is very clearly in your intellect and your understanding. You know what the world is. You've understood that it's really basically garbage. You know what fashion is and that it's of no use to you. Somebody who thinks the uh, world is very good, they will not think this is very good. But we have understood if anyone is running after the things of the world, and when I see the shopping centers, which I only see from the outside anyway, I've never even been in one. But uh, the people's um, income is based upon people's consumerism and it makes people even more sorrowful. But then when they get sorrowful, then what else do they do but go shopping? And it's all full of garbage in there anyway, waste things. And this is why it is very good here in Gyansarovar, Shantivan, there are shops outside Shantivan, but here there aren't any shops. You're sitting absolutely in the bati, in the mountains, nothing is there. What do you need anyway? If you want to eat, then eat here. Previously, we had to wash clothes by sending them out, but now we wash them here. So all you have to do is look at yourself and make sure that you become the fully worthy child of Baba and climb upon his heart. And then when you're on his heart, then for your future. Previously, we were very soft, very soft, very sensitive. We used to feel bad about even small things. And so this is a childish nature, but now we have become um, brave and big. We have become so brave. And once you become big, then the things of child, childishness are gone. Whether you become appraised and you get happy, or whether you become defamed and you get unhappy, that is also childish. But once, once you get a little big, as soon as you get big, then you start desiring all of this recognition, appreciation. You want people to... Um, uh, think of you as something special and then if you get a little bit of insult then you get totally depressed so in this path of gyan this is a very useful thing even if somebody feels that it's not useful but it is sometimes never allow you must never allow depression to come to you for any reason and baba has got such high hopes in us even if we don't have too many virtues and uh, nothing is so much visible, but we become the helper of the innocent Lord and he makes us his own and makes us clever by taking our help. He is so innocent. There is no one as innocent as he. There is nobody like him. Shiv Baba is the Lord of the innocent, the Lord of the innocent people, and those who use their intellect a lot. Baba says sometimes they're one thing, sometimes another thing. They dance around a lot. You can't have faith in those who are fluctuating a lot. You have to pay attention to them a lot. Those who fluctuate need a lot of attention. But others are stable, then you can be um, have, having faith in them. The way that the father makes them be, they're happy with that. The way the mother and the way the father wants them to be, they're happy with whatever Srimat they receive. They are so happy because they know that it is God who is giving them directions. It's a matter of great happiness. Uh, 
And so when you have the attainment of happiness, it helps you to have faith. If you don't have happiness, you can't have faith. And if you don't have faith, then you can't have intoxication. First, do you recognize Baba and you have so much happiness, you see how nice you have become, how everything is good. You don't just sit anyway, oh, he's giving too much love to this one and not enough to me. What were you before? What are you now? And what are you going to be tomorrow? See the difference, see the change of the past, present, and the future, and how wonderful the future is going to be. In this way, you become the seers of the three aspects of time. You become happy by becoming the seer of the three aspects of time. You've seen the enormous difference and change that's taken place. There shouldn't be the slightest trace of anything Kali Yugi with us. And because we have received this time of the confluence age to remove even the slightest stain of the Iron Age. The Iron Age is also called the Black Age, which has stained us. And we are removing all that so that not even a stain remains. No sign remains. And so we wear white clothes, so there isn't even a slightest stain. Now you see this uh, whole stage has got a white sheet on it and it hasn't got any stains or marks. So internally the soul has to be this much clean and truthful. Because then you can be completely dedicated to the master who is pleased with the one who is true. And uh, I do everything not with intelligence, but with, um, with truthfulness, with an honest heart. And uh, so dubda means that sometimes this and sometimes that. Sometimes under the influence of Maya, sometimes under the influence of God. Because Maya takes many different forms, sometimes very attractive. And if uh, I leave Ma Maya, then who is going? Then Maya says, Who am I going to be looking after? Who is going to look after me? Maya takes the form of the body, money, relationships, all the um, uh, systems of the world. And so God is up above, so what will happen to this person if they leave me? No, you have to stay in the world, don't you? So Maya talks to you like this in many ways. And don't remember things of the past, but some things you are unable to forget, very good things which I had told you about uh, when the first time when I went to Brazil, there was class like this in the early morning. And at 3.30, Maya started to speak the Murli. At 6 o'clock is our Murli. So listen about Maya's Murli. From 3.30 until about 5 o'clock, Maya starts doing its murli. And then at 6 o'clock, you have to come to class. If you don't come, but then Amrit Vela, you say, oh, it doesn't matter, oh, I've got a headache, this and that. Plenty of excuses for not going to uh, uh, attend Amrit Vela. And some people write truthfully how many Amrit Vela days they had had good meditation, how many days they missed. And so today Baba says the real true child is the one who keeps the char chart. And if you keep the chart, you'll be able to be the master of the world and remove all kinds of laziness. Otherwise, Maya likes you to be lazy. It makes you careless, it makes you give excuses. It's very clever in this. The form of Ravan is visible, but the form of Maya is very, very subtle and invisible, full of cleverness. So I remember the first morning, listen to Maya's Murli. 
Some people, Baba awakens them and calls the pr princess at the night, the princess is sent to sleep and the uh, queen is raised up in the morning. It's a very nice song, this go to sleep in the uh, evening. Let's see how Baba makes us go to sleep. Somebody asked me about yoga, so how you sleep, how you wake up. And you see just light upon light when you are experiencing Baba. And so we don't do meditation through any kind of force, but it is a natural deep love for the Supreme Soul. We are receiving the blessings of the Supreme Soul, and He is stroking our face and waking us up. There's no need to have an alarm clock. You wake up by yourself. And the, that kind of happiness, to listen to the things of Baba and to follow those, brings a great deal of power. And this is why Baba speaks the Morli every day. When Baba became Avyakt, we were concerned about how to uh, listen to the Murli. Baba said, don't worry, there'll be the revised course. And now how many years? This is the sixth time that we have listened to the revised course, five years of Murlis. But when you listen to the Murli, it seems to be brand new. It doesn't feel like a revised course. I never feel that. There is so much power in the great words of the Supreme Soul, the Supreme Father. And it removes all the tiredness and it opens up the intellect. Because through the Father, we have received the third eye, we became the seers of the three aspects of time. And some people say, oh, this one's very clever. Baba says, there is no one as clever as my children, those who have understood the Supreme Father, the Creator, and who have understood the knowledge of the creations, beginning, continue, and continuation, and end. This is my children. Nobody else except my children know this. Only my children know how to have success. My children, I am the bestower of my children. So now let us listen to the Murli. If anybody has any question, the question doesn't arrive, but still something arises, and Baba gives such answers in the Murli that you have total understanding. You say, Baba, yes, I've understood. You are very clever. You know the depth of my heart. and. Uh, I'm going to give you to sister. Okay. Baba knows us from within, but he is not the one who really sits and reads what is there within us. He knows, and that is why he's able to say what we have to do and what we don't have to do. And he talks to every individual. To whom does he really say? Those who are not truthful, Baba cannot say. Then Baba says, I do not know. Your duty is to tell the truth to the Father. But we should understand the Father very well, how He is. And that means we are able to understand ourselves. To understand ourselves is to understand the Father, and then it's easy to understand each other then there is no opposition with each other or there is no involving with each other. The reason is that we are not able to understand ourselves and understand the Father. The, that is why there is time in understanding each other. Either we are in opposition or we are involved in some, we are tangled with someone. We should have the, the intellect to become a dadi or a dada. What does it mean? 
The whole family are the children of my father, of my Baba. They are my brothers and sisters. By keeping the whole world in the front, having the feelings that all are Baba's children, they are not my children, they are my Baba's children. If the ones who are entangled with someone, they will say, oh, I belong to that one, or that one belongs to me. I, the soul, I am, I belong to the Supreme Soul. And I'm instrument for uplifting all the souls of the world. So there should be honesty within the heart to understand oneself, and then a big heart to understand others. A big heart. You should not keep anybody's aspect in your heart. All are fine, all are good. Uh, Dadi is telling one brother, George, that he's sitting in the corner. So she's requesting him to come in front. He's come since so many days, but he has not come in front. She's requesting another brother to make him sit in front besides him. But are you looking at him? I know, and he knows. We have a lot of happiness and a lot of intoxication that I've always kept my seat in front, and I have received that seat always. One day, Baba gave me this lesson, and I was sitting in the front, and someone had come, and the person had not come into the class, and then Baba was looking at me, and I got the vibration that Baba wants to tell me something, and I realized that Baba is trying to tell me that you are sitting, but you are not bringing the other one who has come. So then I felt that first I have to make that person sit, and then I have to sit. So always I have this within myself that Baba will ask, because we are responsible instruments. This is a very subtle thing. Otherwise, we do not have any responsibilities, but such responsibilities are there. Baba used to take around to see who are sleeping in their respective rooms. See Brother Rick, how he comes into the class every day. And if such a brother is sitting in the class, and if we can take around, many young people are also sleeping in their rooms. Who will be loved by Baba? Some will have excuses to just uh, go around uh, in the campus for a walk. My dear brothers, my dear sisters, these are the seconds and moments of the Confluence Age to study. And we, have, we get unlimited happiness from these. And these, this happiness continues for all the time. There will, never be there will never be sorrow. Even in the Copper Age, we will not receive sorrow. We will never say that I am unhappy. I am sorrowful. Even in the last birth, I have never said that I have been unhappy. Even if someone has died, never. It's only an aspect of karmic account. Our duty was to serve that soul. Now the time had come and the soul left. So let us make so much of income that we do not get that sorrow and also become instrument to remove the sorrow for the whole world. So can we do it? Be so much intoxicated and check 
each one should check oneself. Do I have any sorrow? Do I have any complaint for anyone? Is there any complaint for anyone in my heart? If anybody complains about me, do I feel sorrow? We are learning. Sweet children. Sweet children, you now have to remain very, very simple. There is body consciousness when you wear expensive, fashionable clothes. If the children don't have a high status in their fortune, if the children don't have a high status in their fortune, then in which aspect do they become lazy? Answer, Baba says, children, in order to reform yourselves, keep your chart. There is a lot of benefit in keeping a chart of your remembrance. Always keep a notebook with you. Check for how long have you stayed in remembrance. What is your register like? Is my character divine? Is my character divine? Do I stay in remembrance of Baba while performing actions? It's only by having remembrance that your rust can be removed and your fortune can be elevated. Song, no one is as unique as the innocent Lord. No one is as unique as the innocent Lord. Om Shanti. You sweetest children, should definitely have the picture of Lakshmi and Narayan in your home. You should experience great happiness on seeing it because this is the aim and objective of your study. You know that you are students and that God is teaching you. You know that we are students and that God is teaching us. We are God's students. We are studying this. Everyone's aim is the same. There should be great happiness on seeing the picture. You children heard the song. He is the Lord who is very, very innocent. Some consider Shankar to be the innocent Lord, the Indian deity with the snake around his neck. They have mixed up Shiv and Shankar. You now know that Shiv is God, the highest on the high, and that Shankar is a deity. So, how could they be the same? You've also heard in the song that he is the protector of the devotees. Thus, the devotees must definitely be experiencing calamities. The calamities are the five vices for everyone. Everyone is a devotee. No one can be called a knowledgeable soul. The knowledge and worship are completely separate just as Shiv and Shankar are separate too. Once you receive the knowledge, worship doesn't remain. Once you receive knowledge, worship doesn't remain. Why? Because you're becoming the masters of the land of happiness. You receive salvation for half the cycle. Through just one signal, you attain your inheritance for half the cycle. You can see how the devotees go through so many difficulties. 
through knowledge you become deities then when the devotees are in difficulty that is the experience calamities and sorrow the father comes the father explains according to drama whatever happened in the past has to repeat again then when worshiping begins the path of sin that is the path of becoming impure too begins in this the number one vice is lust about this it is said by conquering lust you become the conquerors of the world the vicious ones don't gain victory no one in the kingdom of ravan can take birth without vice therefore kingdom of ravan doesn't exist in the golden age if ravan were to exist there too what would be the objective for god to establish the kingdom of ram this is a matter of understanding god established the kingdom of ram and even if ravan would have been there then what would have been the objective a father has so much of concern all my children should remain happy he accumulates wealth for his children to keep them happy however it is not like that here this is the world of sorrow the unlimited father says you experience happiness for birth after birth there you receive plenty of wealth there you don't experience sorrow there for 21 births no one goes bankrupt there let your intellect imbibe these things and stay very happy within your knowledge and yoga are completely incognito you don't have physical weapons the father explains this is the sword of knowledge the memorial of this is shown in form of physical weapons held by the goddesses those who study the scriptures etc they never say that this is the sword of knowledge or the bracelet of knowledge only the unlimited father explains this they believe that the shakti army gained victory then definitely there had to be weapons the father comes and tells us about all these mistakes yeh tumhari baat bahut aage chal ke dher sunenge many people will listen to all these aspects of yours in the future kal history hall mein baith ke unko kaha itne hi sunte the hum jitne history hall hai na yesterday i was sitting with the guest in the history hall and i was telling them we were we were so many so many uh, sitting and listening to baba in the early days even the scholars etc will come one day he is the unlimited father is he not sun kar ke aap log lagta hai baba ne pehle kitna sam pehle ye kaha hai aayenge ye baatein sunenge baba has said so many years back that people will come and they will come and listen to you it's only by following shrimat that your children can experience benefit then your body consciousness will break this is why well the people don't come here father says renounce all your pride people have great intoxication of their good quality clothes you are now in the state of simplicity you are now going into to your in-laws home there you will have plenty of ornaments to wear you mustn't wear expensive clothes here 
Father says, remain very simple. Whatever actions I perform, you children too have to remain very simple. Otherwise, there will be body consciousness. All of that causes a lot of damage. You know you're going to your in-laws' home. There you will receive plenty of jewellery. You mustn't wear jewellery, etc. here. Nowadays, there is a great deal of robbery, etc. The robbers rob you in the streets. Day by day, this kind of upheaval will continue to increase. This is why the father says, Consider yourself to be a soul and remember me. By becoming body conscious, you forget the father. It's only at this time that you have to make this effort. Later, on the path of devotion, you won't need to make this effort. You are now at the confluence. You know that that the father comes at the most elevated confluence age. War will definitely take place. Many atomic bombs continue to be made. No matter how much you beat your heads for them to stop doing that, but it is not possible. It is fixed in drama. Even when you try to explain to them, they will not understand. Death definitely has to take place. Therefore, how could they stop doing that? They understand everything and yet they don't stop manufacturing them. This is fixed in drama. The Yadavas and the Kauravas have to be destroyed. Yadavas are the Europeans. They are proud of their science through which destruction takes place. Then there is victory through the pride of silence. You are taught to be firm in your, in your form of silence. To become the embodiment of silence. Remember the Father. The guest asks us, what is silence? And because we have the experience, we are able to share with them. So those who feel they have less experience, please increase your uh, experience on silence. Do this favor for us. Remember the Father, dead silence. I, the soul, I am de detached from the body. The soul is making effort to leave the body. Does anyone else make effort to leave the body as we do? Go and search in the whole world. Is there anyone else who says, O oh soul, I now have to leave the body, become pure, otherwise there will be punishment. Who says this? Who says this? Who experiences punishment? The soul. At that time, soul receives visions of the sins they have performed and the punishment that they have to receive for those sins. Earlier, we did not know what we had done. But at the time of punishment, we get the vision. And then we have a feeling at that time, as if we are getting the punishment for many births. If so much sorrow is experienced, then what would be the balance of happiness that remains? The father says, you must not perform any more sinful actions. 
So keep your register. In every school, a register is maintained for everyone's activity and behavior. Even the education minister will say the character of Bharat is no good now. Tell them we are making our character like Lakshmi Narayan. Always keep this picture with you. This is your aim and objective. We are becoming like that. We are establishing the original eternal deity religion by following Srimad. Everyone's activity and behavior is being reformed here. You also hold a court here. Children at all centers should also hold a court. Tell them, keep your chart every day so that you are reformed. If it is not in someone's fortune, one becomes lazy. It's very good to, to maintain a chart. You understand that? By knowing this cycle of 84 births, you become the rulers of the globe. It's so easy. However, you also have to become pure. Keep your chart of the pilgrimage of remembrance. You will benefit a great deal. If you don't keep a note of eight, then it's understood that you're not remembering the father. You should always have your notebook with you. You have to see your chart. How long did I remember the father? Unless you have remembrance, your rust cannot be removed. In order for us to be removed, it is put into paraffin. While performing actions, remember the father. And you'll receive the fruit of your actions. You will get the fruit of your efforts. It does take effort. You won't be crowned by Baba without effort. There is effort. Baba is giving you such a high status. Therefore, some effort does have to be made. You don't have to use your hands or feet, etc. here. This study is absolutely easy. Your intellect is aware of what you are being made into by Shiv Baba through Brahma. That's it. It has to be firm in our intellect. Shiv Baba through Brahma, what is he making us? Be making us like Lakshmi Narayan. Wherever you go, you must always have your badge with you. Tell them, in fact, this is our coat of arms. You should have great royalty in explaining to others. And a lot of sweetness too. Explain the coat of arms. Also explain what a loving intellect is and what a non-loving intellect is. So what have you to explain? The one with the loving intellect is victorious. Do you know the father? 
You wouldn't call your physical father God. It's only the unlimited father who is the purifier and the ocean of happiness. It's only through him you receive infinite happiness. On path of ignorance, people believe that their mother and father gives them happiness, that they are sent to their in-laws' home. Yours is the unlimited in-laws' house. That is the limited one. Perhaps that mother and father might give you five to seven million or a billion. The father has named you. The children who are going to become multi, multi millionaires, that is Padma, Padam, Pati. In Hindi, Padma, Padam, Pati. There, there is no question of wealth. You receive just everything. The palaces there are very beautiful. You receive palaces for birth after birth. There is the example of a person called Sudama on the path of Bhakti. People have heard about his handful of rice and so they to bring here. When I went to Delhi, I remember a place called Gurgaon, which is just next to Delhi. We used to go very often to Gurgaon and there was this mother called Ram Pyari. She was working at a master's place earlier, but she was very innocent and nice. And when she came to Madhuban, Baba said, Oh, she's the one who is loved by Ram. And then her, uh, she lost her job. And then she started staying at the center. She started giving knowledge to many, many souls. What she used to do, she used to put rice on a piece of cloth. And she would bring that rice to Baba. So Baba explains that we cannot eat the rice by itself. Therefore, they used to bring few spices along with it. The mothers used to clean the rice. And they used to clean the spices by their own hand and grind them by their own hand. They never used to use the machines also. And therefore, they used to then bring it to Baba and Baba used to feel very happy because of their love. And even they used to spend so much time by, for grinding the grains by their hands. They used to bring with so much of love. They understand that Baba will provide them birth after birth. This is why God is always called the bestower. On the path of devotion, you donate in the name of God and you receive something that is short-lived in your next birth. When someone gives something to the poor or opens a college, then in return for that donation, he receives an education in his next birth. If he builds a rest house for pilgrims, he receives a good home to stay because of many who stays there and experiences happiness. However, that is the matter of just one birth year. It is the matter of birth after birth. You know whatever you give to Shiv Baba is going to be used for you in turn. Shiv Baba doesn't keep anything for himself. He told even this one, that is Brahma, give everything you have and you will become the master of the world. He was granted the vision of destruction and a vision of the kingdom. He was intoxicated that Baba is going to make me the master of the world. In Gita, it is shown that Arjun was granted a vision and was told, remember me and this is what you will become. He was granted the vision of destruction and establishment. This one's mercury of happiness also rose from the very beginning. This was his part in the drama. No one knows this lucky chariot. 
Therefore, you children should keep this aim and objective in your intellect that we are becoming this. To the extent that you make effort, you will claim a high status. It is remembered, follow the father. That refers to this time. The unlimited father says, follow the advice I give you. Follow the advice I give you. Who is getting touched by the murli? The follow the advice I give you. Uh, anybody's got touched? Anybody's intellect is touched? What Baba is trying to say? There should be a strong feeling in the heart. Then there will be a lot of intoxication. It's an effort to bring intoxication. Then while listening you say yes, yes, yes. And for doing you should you get up and you tell Baba, yes Baba, I will do. You know, you have the courage to get up in the class and say to Baba, yes, I will do. What did this one do? That's what he also tells. God is also called the businessman, the jewel merchant and the magician. He is the magician. What does it do? From what to what? Baba suddenly gave up everything. Previously, he was a dweller of physical jewels. Now he has become a dweller of the imperishable jewels of knowledge. To change hell into heaven, it is such a great magic. It is such a great magic. He is also the businessman. Baba makes such a good bargain with the children. He, um, he gives you palaces in return of your straws and handful of rice. He enables us to earn a great income. The business of diamonds and jewel jewels also take place in this way. When an American customer comes, he is charged 500 to 1000 rupees for something that just cost 100 rupees. They charge him a lot of money. You have the most ancient thing of all, and that is this ancient yoga. You have now found the innocent Lord. What does he take? What does he give? What do we give to Baba? How much do we give? How much innocent he is? What does he make out of you? Instead of bankruptcy, what does he make you for 21 births? Nobody understands in the world. Sometimes it is said that the innocent Lord gave, him, gave them something. Sometimes they would say the Goddess gave them something. So sometimes they say the Guru gave them something. It's according to their uh, desire. And here we have to give up all our desires and we have to have the true feelings in our heart, not desire. There's a difference between true feelings of the heart and a desire. In the world, there is the people bow to the ones who create different types of magic. Here, it is a matter of study. You are sitting in a spiritual university. Gita is also called the godly university. The versions of God are written in the Gita. However, no one knows who God is. Ask anyone. Do you know the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul? The Father is the master of the garden. He is changing you from thorns into flowers. That is called the garden of Allah. Europeans speak of paradise. Bharat truly was the land of angels. It is now the graveyard. You are now becoming the masters of the land of angels again.
The Father has come to awaken those who are sleeping. You know this, number-wise, according to the effort you are making. Baba is explaining, but at the same time he is seeing that children understand only according to the effort they make. Those who have woken up, they also wake up others. If someone doesn't wake up others, it means he himself hasn't yet woken up. Therefore, the father explains, these songs etc. are fixed in the drama. Some songs are very good. When you are unhappy, play these songs and you will become very happy. Baba remembers the song, O Traveller of the Night, do not become weary. Do you remember this song? Rajni, do, Rajni Ben, do you remember the song? This song is very good. And on the basis of the song, you will remember the whole Murli. This song is really good. The night is now coming to an end. People believe the more worshipping you do, the sooner you find God. When they have a vision of Hanuman, etc., they believe they have found God. The father says, all of those visions, etc., are fixed in drama. For, in fact, they are given a vision of that one for whom they have a feeling of devotion, but in fact no one really, no one really is like that. The father has said, all of you should have your badge with you. Many different types of badges are made. This badge is very good for explaining to others. You are the spiritual military. The military always have their insignia. When you children have your badge with you, you will have the intoxication of what you are becoming. We are students. Baba is changing us from humans into deities. Human beings worship deities. Deities will not worship deities. Here, ordinary human beings worship deities. Because the deities are elevated. Acha. Mite mite sikila de bachon prati matita bab dada ka yad pyar good morning ruhani bab ki ruhani bachon ko namaste ruhani bachon ki ruhani bab ko namaste. A sense for dharna. Always keep your aim and objective in your intellect. Always keep the picture of Lakshmi Narayan with you. Stay happy knowing that this is what you are studying to become. We are now God's students. Second point, give your old straws and a handful of rice and receive a palace in return. Follow Brahma Baba and become a dweller of the imperishable jewels of knowledge. Blessing for today. <coughs> On the basis of a true and a clean heart, may you be liked by the Father. May you be liked by the Father, the comforter of hearts, by claiming number one. The father, comforter of hearts, loves only those children who have a true heart. Even if you don't have a worldly intellect, but you have a true and clean heart, you will claim number one.
This is because the father gives you such a big intellect that by knowing the creator, you are able to know the knowledge of the beginning, middle and the end. A number is created on the basis of true and honest heart. and not on the basis of service. Attention, please. The effect of service done with a true heart reaches the heart. Those who serve with their head could earn a name, whereas those who serve with their uh, heart even earn blessings. Those who serve with their head could earn a name, whereas those who serve with their heart even earn blessings. Slogan, to have pure thoughts and good wishes for everyone is to truly uplift everyone. To have pure thoughts and good wishes for everyone is